Metro Hotel. Collect Mr. and Mrs. Julius Evans of California. Roger. Dorchester Hotel. Mr. and Mrs. Evans, Americans, on my way. Mr. Evans? Good. Uh, we'd like to do some sightseeing around London. Will you take us out around for a few hours? Yeah, sure. Good. Fine. Thank you very much. Leave it to me. Right. In our first days in London, we thought this was the way to see it. But we soon discovered our mistake. Like any major city, London takes a bit of knowing. There's the surface London that every tourist sees, and there's the elusive London that you find only if you walk far enough and ask enough questions. For example, the changing of the guard at Whitehall. Everyone takes that in. You can talk to the horses, but not to the guardsmen. Not while they're on duty, that is. But off duty, behind the scenes, what happens then? Will the horses become just normal, hungry horses? And the enigmatic guardsmen take off their helmets and become the pleasant, unassuming young men we were privileged to meet in their barracks. Hello. Hello. We've been given permission to speak to you, chaps. I hope it's all right. Yes, certainly. Hope you don't mind. No, certainly not. Thank you. Thank you very much. It must be quite a strain to, to sit on that horse for so long. Yes, it certainly is. Who minds the most, you or the horse? I think the horse does. It's a bit whitey here. We watched him. We were very thrilled with both of you out there. Does the horse get used to you? Are you always with the same horse? Um, not all the time, but um, usually you have about two, th two or three horses right through your service. Uh huh. Are you regular army, you two lads? I'm regular, yes. yes. You are regular? Both of you are? Yes. You mean you're making that your career? Yes. And are you always the ones that go into the box like that? Oh, no. Only the best turnouts get the boxes. What do you mean by the best turnout? <laughs> uh, the cleanest kit and the cleanest horse. Uh, kit and horse, yes. cleanliness and that yes. sort of thing. Well, who yes. decides that? Uh, the adjutant, the officer inspected. Uh-huh. How long, so I've always been amazed at how beautifully spotless your equipment is. How long does it take you to get all this brass and polish and all done? Oh, um, about six to eight hours. A day? Yes. Each day? No, okay. for each guard, each guard. To get there for a guard properly. Um, of course, you small circle everything. Uh, you know, uh, commonly called spit and polish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Our boys would uh, understand that word. Yeah. <laughs> well, now, as young men, I want to ask a very personal question. What do you feel about the ceremony being carried over from ages gone by? Do you think it's a good thing? Well, I do, personally, yes. Why? Well, I think England found, uh, it's founded on uh, tradition, and we'd be lost without it. Good for you. Do you agree with him? I do, yes, almost ever. Do you think most of the guards agree with you? I should think so, yes. Yeah. Very certainly. I'm sorry to break this up, but you're on relief in about ten minutes, so you must, they must go now. Oh, oh thank, thank you very much. You. Well, it's been very kind of you to give us this time. Indeed. Thanks a lot. Good to see you. Somehow, after this, we look differently at the pomp and circumstance that surround you in London. This is not an empty show. These are young men of today, proud to preserve their past. London all right.